So the P4 player is uh, traditionally referred to as your outside hitter or your hitter. Uh, typically, uh, you know, thought of as the all-star hitter of the team. Usually a great hitter. It doesn't have to be tremendously oversized. has to be athletic because they need to, or, or speedy at least. Um, so because they need to get you know way out there for the for the for the attacks from whatever position they're in uh, they'll get a lot of balls uh, most of the out of system balls end up out of this player so it's, it's important that you're able to uh, be a great hitter be a great all-around player typically this player uh, when they get in the back row they'll have to pass and sometimes in the front row they'll have to pass depending on the passer system that you're deploying or they'll be relied to to come in and help pass at least so you, you have to have some of those skills um, like I said really good out of the system so so if I were to set you know a high set into a double block or a triple block then you know they're gonna be more you, you want to put a player out there that's more successful um, against that uh, type of situation because that happens very often in, in volleyball that you're not in system you're not don't have that deception you don't have a one-on-one -on -one, and everybody knows the ball's going out there so uh, and it's a high set you know and you're also a player that's going to get a ton of swings because of that uh, because of the number of out of systems and the number of balls coming to you and your your, your overall um, ability to hit greatly um, you expect to get you know uh, a lion's share of the sets um, and you you may or may not play all six rotations because so you, you, those are some of the things you're going to be looking at uh, defensively wise you're covering um, usually the setter and any type of attacks behind the setter um, on their right hand side your left um, it's typically where you're picking up and the same thing when the opponent's super hitter is hitting um, out of the left side on theirs you're covering those uh, that arrow you're covering tips and dinks and if you cover that you need to quickly get out and hit pin attacks again so a lot of running a lot of movement and uh, a lot of skill but a lot of rewarding because you if you especially if you like to hit the ball a lot or you're good at hitting the ball so from the attack formation um, really only typically a couple options for you like I said you need to get out to where this number four is out there uh, as a right high, a right handed hitter uh, you, you know you need to get out and get that that angle coming in so you can hit hard line and hard angle um, so that's that's your primary movement in transition and uh, the four set is typically referred to as a four or a go um, occasionally you'll hit into that gap where the three is I might have drawn that even a little too far over but that, that'll catch sometimes the opponents by surprise and you'll get a, a hole in there and they don't see that coming um, but mostly in you know at a system you're gonna get a high outside set against a big block double block but if it's not that then you know you'll have a uh, um, you can experiment with pace when you're in system you know so you can get some sort of uh, some people call it a shoot set 41 42 whatever you call it the, the second number is your uh, your height so you know 40 41 is a quick uh, shoot set you know boom right out there 42 is a little lower and stuff like that you'll see that, uh, that's a common numbering scheme uh, when you try to mix up the height with the second digit um, so different names but uh, that's that's primarily what you're going to do out here like I said you get a ton of swings and and all is good but uh, uh, typically yeah you get two two of those a team two outside hitters and that's what most people run um, in the future uh, uh, really high-level teams or really good teams aren't always setting as much with that left front as they used to and so again you become more of a a passer because of the like I said you're gonna see some of the, the back rows come in there and they tend to uh, uh, have the overload um, more often and you're just spreading the wealth and they're not getting enough and you you know over terms of seasons and multiple games you want to uh, conserve your outsides um, so it's, it's kind of a dichotomy there I don't know you know if you're on a really really good team you you actually might not be the star anymore your opposite might be the star um, but still there's a there's a lot of worth in this position and clearly if you have a bad outside hitter and you're not passing well uh, yeah you're gonna struggle as a team so yeah it's important position